the next alpha substitution reaction we're going to look at is called alpha alkylation. And we'll just be replacing one of the alpha hydrogens with an alkyl group. And it's going to happen via SN2, as it turns out. Uh, and in this case, there's no acid catalyzed version of this. We're just going to be doing this in a, in a base catalyzed fashion. Uh, and the base you have to use, you have to use the strong base LDA. Uh, hydroxide's not going to work. You have a lot of competing reactions. Hydroxide could react with the alkyl halide. It's going to be involved in the second step, as well as some other things we'll learn about in the future. Um, but in this case, you've got to use LDA for alpha alkylation. And uh, the first step here is simply going to be deprotonating one of your alpha hydrogens. And so you're going to form that enolate again. And again, I've decided not to be lazy here. I'll show both resonant structures for the enolate. Cool, and then from here, we'll just simply attack HBr, the CH3Br, the methyl bromide, in an SN2 reaction. So we'll bring these electrons down, and then we'll come and attack, breaking the bond of the leaving group. So just straight up SN2 in that second step, and that gets you to your product. That's the whole mechanism. So in this case, it's just deprotonation, a proton transfer step, and then nucleophilic attack, and that's the whole mechanism here. Now, one thing to note, we talked about LDA a little bit earlier here, and, and oftentimes, we'll show this temperature setting here, this negative 78 degrees Celsius, when we just want to remind you that it's a bulky base and at low temperatures, it'll deprotonate on the less substituted side. And so in this case, if we're going to form an enolate here, so we're actually going to form it on this side of this molecule with the alpha carbons not being equally substituted. So when you use LDA, generally going to be using it at low temperatures. So even if they don't show it, it probably is what they intended. Um, but just be careful, your professor could uh, uh, have his own take on that or her own take on that. And in this case, uh, we are going to form that less substituted enolate. And here I've just got the minor residue distributor. But you can figure out that that's why our methyl bromide methyl ended up on the less substituted side, not on the more substituted side. So keep in mind, you might have thought, well, why didn't we end up potentially with this product where the methyl groups are on the same side? And again, in this case, that would be a very, very minor product, not one we would consider drawing. Uh, but major product again with LDA on the less substituted side.